Hi, in this video we're going to show you a tool you could use to back up your user profile information. So this could come in handy, let's say if you're reinstalling Windows onto a new drive or the same drive and you want to just back up your user data and then import it, you could use this. Uh, you could also use it for emergencies, let's say you have a bunch of corruption or you get a virus. Uh, once you get things cleaned out, you could restore your files from this as well, but you just need to keep in mind that the files will only be as current as the date you back them up. And another nice feature it has is the ability to restore your files to a different user profile. So let's say you want to make a new profile and then copy all your data over to it, uh, you could do that as well. And supposedly you could also take your user information from an old Windows installation as well. All right, so it's called PC Data Back. So it's a free download, nothing to install, it's just executable. So you run it. And now you have four options here to create an update or backup. So once you create a backup, you could actually update it with newer files. Uh, restore backup, restore from a custom location, such as the windows.old folder or a different volume. And then the option to copy or move user data to another account. Okay, so first we're going to make a backup of this user profile here that we're on. Okay, so we're gonna click on start backup. So now you could pick which accounts to back up. So you could back up all or, or just some. So right now we're using Todd. So we'll get rid of the other ones here and just have Todd. And you could also back up additional folders. So let's say we want to have this confidential files folder here as well. And then you could pick all the folders to back up, even application data. Uh, so we'll skip that for the sake of time. So this one has some documents in here. And then we'll also skip all other folders for the sake of time. Okay, so it gives a default backup name. So we'll pick a folder to back it up to. I'll put this on a different drive. So you should be backing it up to a different drive. I'll put this in user backup. So here's an option here to copy only new and outdated files if you're updating your backup. Then you could skip copying system files and skip copying hidden files. All right, then also down here you have an option to save. So if you want to just configure it and then run it later, you could do that. And here's the option to load a backup that you've already configured. And then you could run it after you load it. All right, so we're just going to start the backup. Then you have some options for what the computer does when it's done here. We're just gonna leave it at do nothing. So this will take several minutes here. So we'll pause the video and be back when it's done. Okay, so successfully backed up the user data for Todd here. So we'll click okay. All right, so now we're going to delete some files here. All right, so we'll delete everything on the desktop here. One thing I've noticed is it doesn't like to restore your shortcuts and you'll see that in a second here. And of course, we're gonna leave this because we need to run it. I'm gonna go into the documents here. Let's delete these four folders and documents. Must delete all the folders and pictures except for vacation. And then we'll call that good. Okay, so now we're gonna go back home and do a restore. Okay, so we need to find the backup file which is on our D drive right here. Okay, so we're restoring Todd to Todd. And here's our extra folder here that we've selected, Confidential Files. And then we could select all of the folders that we want to restore. And we could just leave them all checked because we don't have any application data and all other folders, so it's not gonna make a difference. Or you could just uncheck them. Okay, now we'll click on Restore Now. Okay, so that was quick. All right, so we have our desktop files back except for our shortcuts, like I mentioned. Let's go into documents. We have those four folders back, pictures. We have all the folders back that we deleted, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to restore this backup to a different user. So let's go to another account here. So we'll go into Cindy's account here. All right, so you can see Cindy has nothing on the desktop.
nothing in documents and nothing in pictures. So this is just a new account with nothing going on here. So let's log back out. Okay, go back to Todd. Okay, so we're going to copy move user data to another account. All right, so we need the source folder. So you can either browse to it or it should show your configured accounts here. So we're going to go from Todd to Cindy. And then here's all the folders we could restore here. So I'm going to uncheck these for the sake of time here. Also downloads because I know there's a lot of stuff in downloads. So we're going to skip that as well. So the default option is to copy and then you could also move them if you want to transfer them over, but it'll take a little longer. Then we have the options of skipping system files and hidden files. And you could also create a user account from here as well. All right, so we're going to do copy move now. Okay, so that was quick because there's not a lot of stuff. So let's go back to Cindy. Okay, so now you can see Cindy has these files on the desktop that Todd had, even the PC data back. Let's go check out the documents. All right, so she has all the documents here. And then the pictures as well. Simple as that. All right, let's go back over to the original user here. All right, so as you could see, it's pretty easy to use and does a really good job. So obviously this is not a substitute for regular backups, but it's something you could do before maybe configuring a new computer or before reinstalling Windows as a secondary step in case something happens with your normal backup, then you'll be able to restore it using this tool. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download PC data back and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.